everybody, welcome back to my channel, this is Ricky the Games. I'm Sydney, and today we are here with a demo called They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. I'm very excited for this game because it is another one of the alien abduction horror games. I feel like we went from having not a lot of like classic alien games to having a plethora of them, which is fantastic. Um, so we're just continuing the theme at this point, which is amazing. This is done by a publisher called Declazon. Um, it's supposed to come out at some point in 2024, and it is about a journalist who witnessed an alien abduction on this farm, Grayswood farm. Let's see what you did there, guys. Um, and you have a flashlight, this camera, and you have to take evidence of the goings-on with the aliens in this location. Um, so it's really, really interesting. It looks like they got a lot of fun things planned for us, and I'm very excited to get a taste of it today. So let's get to it. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in the random direction at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself, in the field, saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Ooh. Well, right off the bat, it looks beautiful. Oh, and straight up there in the sky staring at us. No joke. Yeah. I think I'm safe to move. I love Mike's camera on this side of the screen. <laughs> I'll move it if it becomes a problem. <laughs> I'll move it back. Okay, so I'm like super legit. Like I have an actual news... Like, I'm not just, like, a random dude with a camera. You know what I mean? Because sometimes that's the case. Like, you're an independent... Um, no shade. That's not shade or anything like that. But, like, a lot of times, like, it, these things are, like, all right, you have to be undercover, kind of sneaky, and you've got yourself, your camera, and your wits, and you just got to go for it. Where's the last? Oh, okay. Shake it out. This is a great material for a news report. What sweet. So we really gotta gather the evidence. Sherman's house. Can I take a picture of that? I would be so picture happy. I'd be like, let's get a picture of this. Let's get a picture of that. Let's get a picture of this. <laughs> the crops, the, the plant. I, I want a picture of this as like a location picture, but I don't know. That's just me. This is exciting. Good old crops. Let's hope to not get lost in them all. I, although I know that that's 100% what's going to happen. Excuse me. Hello. No, thank you. I'm just trying to visit my, uh, my friend. Mr. Sherman, inspect the house. Farmer's note, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Oh, ooh, that's not good. Put it back. I can't take it. Okay, so I put it back. That's kind of an interesting thing to not take the notes and just take note of the note. <laughs> um, but I... I, pre <laughs> uh, I know it's not that kind of game, but... Mm -hmm. um, but 
the note says that they're going to leave notes for us and the police, so it's smart of us not to take the note. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. It looks great, though, and I love the... <laughs> the poor milk abandoned. I love the atmosphere so far. Old newspaper. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this. Mystery sky objects seen here in Orono. Oh boy. Extraterrestrial extraterrestrial hypothesis still unproved. Zoom. Oh, you can... Ah, there you go. That's great. Man's doing his research. Oh, it's in the photo members of the Sherman family. They look so happy. In the... F yes. I would hope. Blue whale, can we comment? Can we look in the fridge, David Fincher style? Yes, no, maybe so. Locked? Okay, upstairs we go then. I gotta say, this, this, sadly the fridge is like all the way over here from the kitchen. <laughs> they made the most of it. Oh boy. Can't do anything with that. Not that we'd want to. The lights aren't out yet. In the photo. Yep. Cool. The fam is here. They have memories. Is this the dog? I love it. Okay. Oh. Ghastly light coming from that one. Oh boy. Oh, lovely. So this must be the daughter. <laughs> daughter's room. That's a little suspicious. That kind of seems like she went to go foray into the night and then got taken, the walkie-talkie. That's a gray if I've ever seen one. Oh, oh no, they killed the dog and she's crying. Oh, that got fucked up. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. This paper is painted on both sides. It's like, hey, how's it going? Oh, far. That's how I read that note. Farmer's note, this is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. I love the notes, to be honest. It makes sense why they're here as well. I think that's a really nice premise. That's not common in games. A lot of times you just kind of find journals and take for granted things that are there. But this one, they're actually deliberately saying like, I wrote these notes for you as I go. Um, so that's the daughter. I also appreciate that it looks like it was scribbled fast. Like, buy those things, like I'm out, bye. And they're on ripped pieces of paper. Walkie talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Yeah, you hear that kind of like light purring amidst the frequency in there. That doesn't sound human. Who shut the door on me? Absolutely not. Oh boy. I love that you can see out the window. It's a little bit disquieting. There's so much to look at. Alright. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the greys. Um, these are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Um, basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. 
These aliens are aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, uh, which moves along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed and severe headaches and a buzz in their ears and animals start raging. Next, people start having memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road, a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found marks on their body, incisions to be exact. During palpitation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Oh, so they have incisions and then when they feel it, it feels like something thick is there, a foreign object is inserted under the skin. Oof, creepy. Lovely image there you got. No one watching over my shoulder yet? So what are these? A printed photo from the internet. Perhaps Sherman, Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Yeah, I'll say. Okay, so they all say the same thing. But the man's trying to do his research. Kudos to him. Eh, that's a good one. The, that's so, it's so creepy. Ooh, no thank you. I don't know that I'd want these hanging in my bedroom. Just saying. Particularly when I go to sleep, I don't want to stare at this. Because this is the type of thing where, like, if it's in my bedroom, and I'm staring at it, and I'm thinking about it, I'm going to have some bad dreams about it. The Farmer's Children's Diary. On the sticker, it says, Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I felt there... I f sorry, I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on a table, as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening. I barely made it home. My head was buzzing, and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ear. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. I liked how it went from exciting and scary to just plain scary. That's terrifying. So... Oh, that's cool. So it kind of has the moment where you take a photo of the diary. I would take a photo of all the page. The door is closed again. I take a photo of all the pages, all these. <gasps> oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. What oh, the no. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, it's dark. I was gonna say, what do I do about that? I was gonna open the closet door. I appreciate that my character is as scared as I am right now. Oh my god. Oh, that went from really cool to really horrible. <laughs> Fuck, what? I'm not prepared for this. Did you guys hear that? I don't have anything but a flashlight. I can't do anything to defend myself. Did anything change? Oh my god, it's really loud and really scary, you guys. Okay, it was literally too loud. 
Holy shit. This is, this is open now. Do you guys hear that? Oh, this is not good. I'm, s uh. Okay. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts, I noticed them. Behind my ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I am not crazy. Oh. <gasps> he got it. That's what he meant. I was like, what does that mean? A little jar with a strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims he cut out the alien implant. Maybe take it? Yeah, take it. Oh my god, with a knife? Woo. I hope he's okay. Oh. Can we take a picture of that? Dead animals? Probably animals from the Grayswood farm. Ooh. Oh, that noise is so overpowering. It's horrible. Turn it off. Ooh. Okay, can't do anything about that. God, they're so close to me. <gasps> mm -mm. Whoa, it's gone. The noise. What the hell? <gasps> Hi, there's more. <laughs> That definitely doesn't seem good. It moved. Is that my car that's fucked up now? Can I run? A little bit. <laughs> oh shit. Run to the car. Oh god, I'm running. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm in a panic. Oh my god. <laughs> this is good, you guys. <laughs> I can't run any faster, just go! Oh my god. Oh, we saw him! We saw him! Oh no, come on. Get your camera out, man! Oh my god, they're there! <laughs> that is one story, it ain't gonna be printed. Good job! Whoa, that was so short though! Oh man, I want more of that! Demo, in the full game you will find the large territory of the Grayswood farm and the full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. Oh my god, that was crazy for a second. I was just like so enthralled looking at the alien in the bright lights. And then I was like, can I do anything? The minute I moved, it turned red. And then the minute I was like, oh no, they're there. And then he's pulling me out of my car. Oh, wow, okay. That was really well done. So what's the prologue? Oh, so there's more? 
The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years before the events shown in the demo. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near the Grayswood Farm. By chance, he becomes the witness of inexplicable, terrible events. So there's two demos, or is it just... Oh, we have to watch it. Oh, boy. Delta, this is Alpha. We've an unidentified object at 270 degrees. 20 miles moving fast. Do you copy? Over. Alpha, is that a meteor? Negative. I'll try to get in touch. You entering controlled airspace. What are your intentions? Introduce yourself. No answer. Switching to heat control. Pushing down. Delta, I have strong interference. Say again. Communication lost. I try radio on different frequency. Alpha calls data. Unidentified object begins push down. 10 seconds to land. Saying again, 10 seconds to land. Over. Oh, whoa. So there's like two demos in this? This is base. The object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Omega team will arrive in one minute. We'll conduct surveillance from the air. Drive with care. Report when you arrive. Whoa. Kudos, you guys. I read you five by five, sir. Out. This poor guy has to go all by himself. This is some of the footage that I was seeing in the trailer. Oh, wow. This is crazy. This poor guy has to go all by himself. So, what? Yeah, this is the right way to walk. Oh no, we're all by our lonesome out here. We got the walkie talkie and the radar. It's gorgeous. Hey! It's over this way. Oh good. At least I got some help. So they're going ahead, I guess. I can go like a smidge faster, but not much. And he tires out. still straight ahead of us. The radar thing's really interesting. It's uh, really like adding to a lot. Uh, it's really adding a lot to the atmosphere. That that subtle beeping is sort of like, oh boy, like what's gonna happen the closer I get. What? Do you hear that? Oh, Mager, this is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. Counter indicator is average. Uh oh. That's not good. Roger that. We're all quiet here. Radiation. 
So we have a Geiger counter on us. That's what that clicking noise is. That's never good. <laughs> oh boy. This is so interesting. Why send me if they have the helicopter? I guess because I'm on foot. The object is being detected and is approximately away from you. What? It's how far away from me? Uh oh, the Geiger count is popping off. Omega, what the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels are rising. Over. You bet, sir. The aliens are fucking with your stuff. I'm trying to chase the light. This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Observe the object from a distance. Too late for that, I think. Is it this way? I think it's this way. I'm trying to pay attention to the dot, but I'm also trying to, like, stay by our, our friends. If the helicopter's being told to stay away, should we go near it? That's the real question here. Okay, we're getting closer. This old major, we're The radiation is getting Wait. Need to stop the You guys okay? What the hell's going on there? That sound, that's a sound. What's moving? Omega, fly away. Michael Anderson, follow protocol. Do you guys still want me to go forward? It just took down a helicopter and you want me to go on foot? Are you kidding? Can anyone hear me? Over. It's moving. It's moving. Can anyone answer? It's moving around me. It. The dot. Yes, please. I don't know if that got better or worse. I could see more. <laughs> Do we want to see more? Oh, fuck. Oh, you guys, this is not this is good, but it's horrible. I'm off path. It's up this way? No, it's around me. It's all around me. Where's my buddies? Fuck. I don't know. We're just trying to get towards it, but it's like a moving goalpost, man. It's like this way-ish. Oh my god, I'm so scared. We found a clearing-ish? No, it's a boulder. Oh, we found another path. Pathway. Oh fuck, we found it! She's recording. <laughs> we found it. Fuck. I 
thought I heard something behind. Whoa. He turned off. Oh my god, there's, they're, they're around me. Oh fuck. They're here, all right. Holy shit. Oh wow. In the full game, you will learn the events of the prologue are related to the Grayswood farm and the story of Taylor Fox. Add the game to, yeah, oh my god. Again! Not one, but two demos! Oh wow, those were good, you guys. The pacing was really good, the, like, anticipation of looking for something. Um, I didn't even realize that you could, I was just like, what is the prologue? Like, we played the demo, so I was, like, curious, and wow. Like, I hope that the game is as good as this demo was. These demos, that's, there's two! Um, I really hope that the game is as good as this is because, like, I have high hopes now. That was so well done. The gameplay was really smooth. The graphics were gorgeous. The sounds, like, very unusual, otherworldly, things that I would love to hear and not nothing that I feel like I've heard before. Like, I feel like I usually have heard other noises before that are like kind of familiar to alien lore and like this takes that but also makes it more their own more original I feel like um super unsettling the fact that you see them in glimpses and that little things change also put you off guard which is a classic um mechanic and that's it's so well used here and the fact that they get you out of nowhere Ugh. But the ship looked like really like in both things like really well done. And then when the, the, the helicopter went like straight up and then down, I thought they were going to take it, but then it exploded. Uh, I mean, both I, they did take it. It was like slowly. Oh, my God, that was cool. That's like unnerving. Um, wow, really excited for this now. So it should be coming out in 2024 at some point. Um, what do you guys think of this? I think it looks really, really good. Um, it looks like they have their alien lore down. It looks like they've got a couple different perspectives on this, which is really interesting. It kind of gives me that like Cloverfield vibe in the way that this is a big event and there's multiple perspectives looking at it. Um, I really enjoy the fact that like, okay, we've got the military perspective that are trying to check this out. We've got a journalist that's on the ground. And then we've got the farmer's family, like looking and experiencing this, like as it is happening. And it looks like there's actually more involved to them. It looks like Peter himself has been like watched and like a part of this since he was a kid. So this is really fascinating. Like there's so much here to unpack, even in this, like short taste that we got of it and i am super thrilled so i'm looking very forward to this add this to your wish list guys absolute kudos to declazon i hope i'm saying that correctly you guys continue on this path it looks really really good i'm very excited well thank you everybody so much for watching it please don't forget to like and subscribe for my channel uh we will absolutely play this game when it comes out i will stay tuned for all of the news on it that i can so that we will be sure to play it the minute it drops so very excited for this upcoming in 2024 at some point. See you guys next time. Don't get abducted by aliens. They're out there somewhere. You gotta believe. Goodbye.